another fine edition of Trucker Q&A. Okie dokie Pinocchio. Okay, so first question comes from uh, Mr. Sonny. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, screwed that up, didn't I? Oh, fuck. Surprise, first thing in the morning and I screw up a Q&A thing. Mr. Sonny, 92.71. Okay, so Mr. Sonny, 92.71 asked uh, that, you know, he likes to... Uh, you know, do exercise, blah, 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 does the gym a lot when he's at home, and was wondering about gyms on the road. Okay, so I know Pilot uh, was supposed to be starting a program with Snap Fitness. I don't know where it's at, uh, where they were going to open up some small fitness centers in some of the Pilots, more in the southern part of the U.S. right now. Uh, along I-40 and a few other places going out west. Um, I don't know where they're at at that. You can check with Snap Fitness or Pilot Flying J. Go to their website and see. Uh, there's a few of the TAs and Petros that have some small uh, gyms in them. I haven't really looked at any of them. I can't imagine they're very big. Um, given the record of some of these truck stops, and they're gonna be, you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna comment because in that, because I, I haven't seen what they've been offering now. Um, there are a few, but it's very few and far between, okay? Um, there are a lot of drivers out there. There's one particular driver, uh, Flying Eagle, and I can't remember the rest of his thing there. Um, I'll try to find it and let you know. He does, he works out quite a bit. He'd be more the one to ask if there's, uh, but I don't know if he drives over the road or if he's more local. So I'll see if I can shoot him off a message or something, uh, see if he's got any links to it, and I'll check it out, and I'll get back to you at a future Q&A. But there's no reason why you can't do exercise and bring some weights with you in the truck if that's what you like to do, you know, going for a walk in the evening. I see tons of guys. Uh, trucks with bicycles attached to them. There's a lot of guys. They'll bring their bikes They're attached to the back there on the catwalk I've even seen uh, the guys up north that have the moose bars up front there the deer bars uh, They actually attach them there So, you know bringing a bike with you. There's that possibility um, Which could open you up too. you get into a mall somewhere you can park a truck like you get in like snap fitness I know they're all over Canada in the US so you can get a membership with them, and I'm sure there's other gyms that are the same, um, where you can use any of their locations. You don't have, you're not restricted to the one location. So anyways, check into that. That's enough on that. Uh, yeah, so I hope that answered that one. All right, moving along. Foo Productions 566 asked, and I've been asked this before, and I'm gonna guess that you haven't really watched some of my previous videos. Or gotten caught up on them. Um, I know there's a lot, so it's kind of hard to get caught up. But he asks, where do I take showers? And this was on the the my older inside tour of my truck video. And uh, and there is an updated inside tour of my truck vid uh, video for this truck. Okay, there was another person that asked, uh, you know, if there if I had a newer one. Anyway, because they saw the older truck and they can tell, I guess, from my current videos, I'm not in that truck. I've done an inside tour of this truck also, guys. You have to look it up, okay? It's not that far back. Just go, when you're on my homepage, go to videos and scroll down, you'll find it, okay? <coughs> uh, so anyways, the question was, how do you take showers? Well, I go in the truck stops and I take showers. And all of you guys are gonna say, oh, ew, truck stop showers. Okay, if you go through my videos way back, You'll see, I've got a video up on truck stock showers, okay? They're not that bad. If you know where to go and where to look, you know, there's a lot of good ones. A lot of them are being remodeled. Uh, they, they're kept clean. So, yeah, you got to go down to my video. You'll find it, and you'll see what the showers look like, okay? So, yeah, we do take showers on the road. Got to kind of have to. There are some of these fancy custom-built trucks that have showers built right into them, but this is not one of them, okay? I only wish my company would give me a truck that big. Not gonna happen. So, anyways, hope that answers that question. All right, okay, next question. Muay Thai beatdown, again, yes, Muay Thai beatdown guy. Okay, so, 
uh, asks a question and it's referring to when I was broken down in Edmonton there and I was in the hotel and he was asked, you know, does Celadon pay for the hotels? Yes, they do. Okay, when you're broke down, they'll pay for the hotel. I mean, come on, where else are you going to sleep? On the street? Um, and I'm guessing there might be a couple companies that are cheap bastards and won't do it. But uh, for the most part, I'm thinking 98% of the companies out there, when you break down, they will pay to put you up in a hotel. All right. Oh, how hell of a Sioux 777. Ah, Jesus Murphy with these names. Okay, he basically asks, and this was a question, I guess, for his dad, that he was asking this for, that they he hasn't got his CDL yet. He's still in the process of uh, going to trucking school to get it, I guess. And he's called around to a few trucking companies, uh, three in particular. And uh, I'm not going to name the names here, but... Um, and they've all given pre-hire offers, I guess. Um, and he wants to know, you know, which is which one should he go with? Okay, well, see, here's the trick. You have to look at, first off, what are they offering, okay? And you got to look at what's best suited for you, i.e. home time, uh, vacation time, rate of pay, rider program, because he said he was going to be riding with his dad. Um, you know what the rider policy is, type of equipment, the age of the equipment, what areas are you going to be running. So you got to ask all the questions, find out you know what the starting rate is for a new driver, how much time is you going to have to spend with a trainer, does he have to go with a trainer, most likely yes, coming fresh out of trucking school, but how much time does he spend with a trainer. Um, does he smoke or doesn't he smoke? If he smoke, doesn't smoke, will he be guaranteed to go with a trainer that doesn't smoke? That's a big one there too. I've heard of a lot of guys that don't smoke and they get stuck with a trainer that does smoke. Um, if uh, the option, if he doesn't get along with the trainer, because not everybody's gonna get along. You're gonna put two strangers together. They may not get along. You know, what's their policy on that? Uh, will they switch him to another trainer or is he switched shit out of luck type deal? You know, you got There's a lot of questions to ask each one of these companies, and it's got to be the same list of questions. And then you got to look at all the answers and figure out which company is going to be best suited for you. What's closest to your home, and home time is probably going to be near the top of the list. Okay, and and is this a major lane for them? Are you living close to the term? How often are you going to be able to get home? A lot of companies say, "Oh, we'll get you home every second week," but then they don't get you home for a month best way to figure that one out how often you get home is is the terminal close to you how close is it to you you guys have known from my past videos and what my thoughts and theories are on that one um, and how that helps you be able to get home a little bit more often okay is living along a major lane finding out what their major holy geez that sun is coming right in there this morning holy crappy holies jeepers creepers I have to put on the sunny old glasses there soon. So, anywho, uh, I can't even repeat your name because I don't remember it. 777. I remember that part. Sorry about that because it was a long name. Uh, I hope that answers that question. That's about the best I can do for you, okay? Hey, okie dokie. Next one 2581 ISM says he's moved from uh, an international into a Kenworth. Yeah, I know. We're with this bright sun crap again here. Jeepers creepers. Um, moved from international into a Kenworth, and the, the space is a lot tighter now. Storage is a lot scarcer. What what can he do for, you know, storage? Now, this applies to just everything in general, okay? When you guys are moving from truck to truck, don't try to have a whole household in a truck, you know? Go with some of the basics to start off in that truck. Um, Rubbermaid containers are freaking great, okay? You can store a lot of stuff in them, under the bunk, uh, on the shelves, etc. I know the Kenworths have that those top shelves in there, and they're not really a big lip on them, so it's hard to put stuff up there without it falling down, but if you get the containers, like I have here in the... Okay, so so before we were so darn rudely interrupted by the battery running out on this thing, 
but that's kind of good because I took it off the mount. And we were talking about the storage there, and and uh, you know for everyone, and guys, it all depends on the trucks that you're in. You guys have to be a little creative. But one that I found that worked really well, and you can take these little uh, Rubbermaid storage drawers, you know, and you could put them under the bunk type deal. Okay, now I can't really show you because my my, my bed's not properly made and then there's you know these little storage containers here you know you can always store stuff and they're great actually and I've got one here but it's full of junk right now um, but they're actually really really good for putting up on the shelves and then you take a bungee cord and you know attach it to the shelf and string it over and that way you know it's not going to come flying off the shelf at you uh, one of the things I want to give Josh trucker Josh heck for He's got all that loose stuff up behind his head there up on that shelf and you know if he ever gets rear-ended or slams on the brakes really hard one time that stuff's going to come flying right at him. So he needs to uh, with bungee secure some of that I noticed in his video so I'm going to give you heck Josh uh, or get these rubber made the bigger ones you can get the really bigger totes and put them up there and then take a, a bungee and you know tie it to the shelf like if this were the shelf here and then just you know tie it over top to the back wall there somehow uh, just to hold it in place because uh, I learned my lesson there when I got rear-ended uh, that one time and all the stuff that's when I was in the old truck and I had those side shells if you guys remember and all the stuff that was in the containers stayed in the containers and the container stayed up there but any of the loose stuff I had on the shelf all came flying forward and down onto the floor luckily none of it hit me so you know even my Burton came off the shelf from the other side luckily it ended up just you know hitting the, the shelving unit and landed on the floor and even stuff came out of my fridge and stuff so very important to secure your stuff guys so yeah Rubbermaid's great go to Walmart and uh, you know take a look at your truck take a look at the dimensions of your shelving or your storage space like on that Kenworth that you're saying that has that side cupboard that you can open if you look at Josh's uh, I think in one of his videos he shows it and you can put these uh, these Rubbermaid shelving things uh, drawer thingies in there they'll fit so yeah got to take a tape measure you guys got to be creative you move into a truck you got to get creative on how you uh, how you use your space you know even look at um, Nick and Sam's uh, video of the inside of his truck uh, I'm sure he's changed it around since but uh, you know he's using all the Rubbermaid storage containers also so Rubbermaid, uh, it doesn't even have to be Rubbermaid, it can be uh, whoever. This one is uh, Sterilite or whatever. <coughs> it's a Rubbermaid type deal, okay? Plastic storage containers. Yep, so that's it. Hope that answers that question.